Hello theater addicts, this is Brianna and tonight I will be reviewing Tomatoes Tried to Kill Me But Banjo Saved My Life. This is a Quivering Dendrites production and I will be at the Carousel Theater this evening. This is my very first time at this theater and I'm quite excited. I've heard wonderful things about it. I have no idea what to expect about this show. I could find very little online about it. The blurb in the Fringe playbook absolutely says almost nothing. It's left much to the imagination, although the title is quite amusing. I am looking forward to getting in there and uh, having something fantastic to say at the end. Well, hi there, theater addicts. This is Brianna, and I just finished watching Tomatoes Tried to Kill Me, but Banjo Saved My Life, uh, production company Quivering Dendrites. It was written and performed by Keith Alessi for the 2018 Vancouver Fringe. I just want to start by saying what an incredible storyteller Keith was. He is a first-time performer as of this year and he started at the Edmonton Fringe Festival as I understand it and this was a passion project for him, something small he wanted to try, a way for him to pursue some promises that he made to himself. And I, I'm struggling to find the words to express how fantastic he was. Uh, it was shared with me by a fellow Fringer that, uh, you know, he started off really small in Edmonton and uh, by the end he was greeted by sold out performances and standing ovations and for very, very good reasons. You should absolutely come and see this performance. It is raw and authentic and beautiful and although the fringe book and the blurb that is in there makes it seem like it's going to be on par with a lot of the fun comedic stuff that we see at fringe it is so much more than that the best way to summarize Keith Alessi's performance is uh, a man taking you through the story of his life and he sucker punches you with these incredible insights and terrible stories of his of his experiences and then softens the blow with unbelievable banjo playing. Mr. Alessi shares with you what he calls his big bang moments. They include relatable content such as compartmentalization workaholism, family abuse, and, well, remote controls. The Carousel Theatre seen behind me was the perfect venue for this particular production. It was large enough to host the number of people that I'm sure wanted to be there. The rush lineup was left wanting at the end when they closed the doors and there were still people waiting. But a small enough venue that it created a very intimate atmosphere for us. Keith Alessi speaks to the audience as though we are sitting in his living room, enjoying an evening with him regaling us with stories while he plays the banjo. I wouldn't call it an interactive performance per se, except that you can't help but respond when he asks questions of the audience because you feel like you're just spending a lovely evening with him. Although this would be considered formally a one-man show, Keith Alessi has three banjos with him on stage, and I would say that each one of them, in its own way, is like a character. They represent different phases of the story that he will tell you, and he plays them in distinct and different ways that elicit extremely different emotional responses, and each has a specific story to him, not just in the banjo itself, but also in the way that he learned how to play it. The only area for improvement that I can possibly mention for this performance is, and I say this being acutely aware that this was opening night, and I'm sure Keith Alessi had some intense first night jitters, and probably was aware of me sitting and taking notes in the back. He is still negotiating the stage, but who can blame him? He is a recovering CEO. This is his first time uh, having a show, although he's performed at other fringes. It was his first night in Vancouver, and he's just getting the feel for, I think, our local audience and what we're about, as well as just how his particular stage is put together. I'm sure he will have those kinks worked out very quickly. 
One of the things I really enjoyed was at the beginning, things felt a little bit scripted, but as the performance went on and he became more comfortable with us as an audience and began to trust himself as a performer, you really began to feel like the script just melted away and he was just chatting with us, uh, particularly towards the end as he started sharing his stories about how he really learned to play the banjo not as far away as you might think for how skilled he is. As he started talking about his jam sessions back in Virginia, he absolutely lit up. He reminded me of a little boy excited to share a wonderful story with us. So my overall impressions of Tomatoes Tried to Kill Me But Banjo Saved My Life is please go see it. He's wonderful and amazing. And really, it's a story about life and death and banjos. This is Brianna reviewing Tomatoes Tried to Kill Me But Banjo Saved My Life by Quivering Dendrites as written and performed by Keith Alessi. Thank you so much, Theater Addicts, for tuning in to my video. Please join us on YouTube and Facebook to see more Fringe reviews. We are excited to be showing you all of the Fringe shows over the first four or five days. And as always, please leave comments, questions, suggestions, anything you might have in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Fringe 2018.